just as we saw from the first round. I mean, he just looked focused. He had pop. I mean, he was determined, and he carried that momentum of four straight wins to make it a fit against a very tough opponent in Miguel Flores, and that just right hand connected beautifully for Ramirez. Bang, right on the button, and Flores came forward much to the chagrin of his trainers who told him don't do what he did yeah and ramirez made him pay and that's what he did he has continued to look excellent in his last couple of bouts and he is going to be a very difficult contender and then we look right here ray i mean josecito lopez turning back the clock just took it to francisco santana and unfortunately he took a little bit way too much punishment that's when the fight should have stopped. Right That's there. when the fight should have stopped in the ninth round. And then this was unnecessary punishment, but Osisito Lopez went ahead and did his job. And that was another look at the knockdown in the ninth round. But here's the 10. And that was just an onslaught from the outset. Yeah, let's just hope uh, Santana is okay uh, as he continues to recover and that he can continue to go back to his family and friends. I mean, he really has a warrior spirit, but again, well, as we said, took way too much punishment. As for Lopez, again, turning back the clock, and he has made himself into, again, a final run to be a top contender. And we just saw the towering inferno tower over and blow right through Abiba Men. Yeah, I mean, this, it was just the clinic again, just dominating fashion. And as we see, Fundora has always been... I'm curious to see who is next for Sebastian Fundora. Who wants it? Maybe, maybe, maybe you run it back with Jamonte Clark. It was his only draw. I'd like to see that, see how... He